Hello everyone. Today we are having Miss Sri Lakshmi from Kochi. She is doing her masters in global healthcare management in UK. Welcome Sri Lakshmi. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I know that you have worked with different organization in different roles also. So can you please explain about your career journey so far? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Sri Lakshmi. I completed my uh, B.Tech in Electronics and Biomedical from Model Engineering College. After that, uh, I worked as a hospital trainee in TBS uh, company. Actually, I worked in two hospitals, uh, so Manipal and HCG. After that, I started working as an ultrasound application specialist in Cyrix. Okay. After that, um, I worked as a sales engineer in getting a. And again, uh, after that, I joined in Trivitron Healthcare as a ultrasound application specialist. Now, uh, actually, I resigned last month, and now I joined uh, in MSc Global Healthcare Management in Coventry University, UK. And next week, I am going to travel there. Yeah. Okay, good to know. So uh, uh, there are many people asking me about the application roles uh, that women are having in biomedical field. So can you please explain about the role as an application specialist you were doing in those companies? Yeah, actually, uh, application job it is very comfortable uh, as a woman compared to other uh, sales and service as a traveling job. And here we are getting a lot of opportunity to grow ourselves uh, and uh, professional way. And we will meet a lot of customers and uh, and we will get a lot of contacts. And I met a lot of seniors also from my college. It is really a wonderful experience for me as an application specialist. And also, I got opportunity to attend a lot of the workshop. It is really life-changing for me uh, after getting into this application. Okay, so in uh, day-to-day activities, what will be usually doing? Maybe demonstration or visiting customers? What are the things you usually do? Yeah, usually when I worked in Cyrix, I went for a post-sale demos, uh, mostly on post-sale demos. So I visited customers and I supported them. Mostly I will travel all, all Kerala only when I was in Cyrix first company. Uh, so I will give demonstration to doctors, radiologists, cardiologists. Depends on all, like in hospital who are uh, using ultrasound mission, I should support them. I should teach them. I should make them very comfortable to use uh, for a future. So it is like basically I worked as ultrasound application. It is like we can make it very easy. That is application job. It is not like sales or service. Actually, ultrasound, it is only like uh, our computer system. So uh, firstly, we have to learn how this machine is working. And then only uh, we can convey that to the customer. Actually, I love ultrasound machine very much. Now I'm missing it. But I think future I'll get more opportunity. But uh, we can use ultrasound like our phone, a uh, lot of application. We can, it is like make, image, uh, images uh, making like inside human body and after that we can take print out and all application it is very easy to do uh, so okay. i love my job very much yeah. yeah i know that you have visited i think uh, internationally also for doing demonstration if i'm right uh, dubai last year i went for uh, two weeks uh, a demo it was really wonderful experience for me because it's uh, international and their customers, actually, there in Dubai, it's more comfortable to work as an ultrasound application. They will, because dog it is very high technology are they are using. Me, uh, so it is very uh, like traveling and uh, even customers also. Uh, they will ask good questions and we will we can work with a lot of more technology and all. And uh, it is really wonderful for me. Yeah. yeah previously, you were working in uh, sales. Also, I think you have worked in hospital. So how was all these different roles in your experience? Yeah, when I was in the hospital, it is like office job. I have to sit in one place. Only I am getting uh, less exposure to the biomedical field. Because same hospital, same missions uh, daily. But I worked in two hospitals. Actually, why I changed it means in first hospital, there are a lot of biomedical engineers. And I am just doing small things only because I am a trainee that time. So I changed it to next hospital. Uh, there are only one biomedical and me. So I will get, I got a lot of opportunity to work with missions. And it really changed me. Uh, it gave me more confidence uh, to deal with missions and all. Uh, and when I ch- actually, uh, when I changed to company, company is more comfortable for me because I'm getting more opportunity uh, to grow myself uh, and to gain knowledge. Uh, knowledge is must in biomedical field. Uh, right. Uh, so, but after actually more than application, uh, sales really changed 
in a big way because sales we are meeting new customers daily uh, so that time um, i was uh, like uh, it's new for me initial month it was so much difficult but i learned every day every day so uh, i learned i learned about products and how to deal with customers what all questions they will ask to me uh, so i ask and i learned myself and it really changed after that six month of uh, work as sales engineer after that it is the, the i think very self changed uh, in a big way uh, so that's it so i prefer to work in uh, companies than just in a hospital so we will get uh, more opportunity and uh, more knowledge and uh, obviously income uh, salary is very high uh, compared to hospital job uh, yeah so those things okay so you move from sales to application why you move from uh, sales to application you find it more comfortable or in your career ways you feel it is better to move into application so can you please tell Actually, about that mostly uh, i changed it like uh, in this last company i prefer like sales and application uh, because uh, application it is kind of sales uh, because we have to cut. actually i did more pre sale demos in that company so we have to uh, make customer to buy our product and we have to uh, work as sales also in that that's why i changed uh, mostly but actually i worked in a sales in more i deal with consumables only so product okay. i was not happy but i was happy with uh, sales engineer uh, but when i was in uh, studying in college i thought like sales engineer it is bad and all but when i worked as sales engineer i am so happy even if i got now also job after completion my masters i am happy to work in a sales yeah so, and after all all the companies are working based on the whatever the sales they are having right Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought sales there is no service, no application, no anything. Just sales the basics of all companies. I am happy to work as a sales engineer again. Yeah. Okay, so you were talking about your college days. So I just want to know what are the things that may help you during the college time to you know support in your career. Yeah, actually, I come from computer science background. Uh, uh, after that, I took biomedical engineer. So I, I was afraid like initial, but I I went to. Uh, training internship in rajagiri hospital that really changed my all aspect after that i thought to work as a biomedical engineer after completion i been to so much struggle um, after complete btech uh, btech because i took me uh, some time to get a job in tbs at least as a biomedical trainee i i know everyone is facing all students uh, but my motivation like i love to work in the healthcare field because uh, that really makes me happy personally Uh, so that's why i i love this field i love to uh, take care of people like without uh, health and all there is no life at all mm-hmm. so i am i love to work because my all other friends work in it company they are making money and all but i choose to work in healthcare because that what make me happy i am passionate to work as a healthcare uh, manager or biomedical engineer whatever i love this field that's why i'm serving here yeah. so even i know that presently also many people are struggling to get a job so how was your initial time and what do you feel at the moment yeah initial i faced lot of struggle from my family my friends uh, my family but my sister she supported me even if my salary is uh, low also she told do what you love so that what i want to tell if you are loving this field biomedical or hospital field follow that even if it's no salary just learn things uh, understand the missions and if knowledge is there you will get job in any company because lot of opportunities are there but uh, students and the people who are not knowledgeable uh, that's why they are not getting job uh, so interview have, we have to clear it so yeah, knowledge is must yeah, yeah and it carries one of the emerging field also the more opportunities are coming yeah but it is critical to without knowledge like we are dealing with uh, critical equipment so right. knowledge is a must experience that's why we are asking more experience um, yeah. yeah and i know that you just started your masters in global healthcare management so i just want to know what is the thought process behind doing your masters i think you worked around more than 3 years after completing your btech degree so yeah. what is the idea of doing masters right now because after uh, working in this company i felt like if i masters after completion i will get senior position uh, in uh, abroad uh, 
uk or europe uh, so it is uh, like i'm not I, because now it is my for me correct age to do masters and i'm so happy to learn now uh, to improve my man i want to in, basically i want to improve my management skills because i worked as a uh, sales engineer i met lot of sonal managers and national managers uh, so uh, not about the na- name management mb or anything but to improve the management skills because in our course uh, they are talking more about leadership skills and lot of other skills so i'm lacking that so after now if i'm doing that uh, i think i will get a good opportunity and yeah. job in coming years so yeah so it will why. be a great addition to your career or your profile right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. actually yeah. i try to do distance uh, mba but more than distance mba i would suggest you to do full time mba because uh, that we will gain lot of uh, knowledge and we will get me um, more exposure uh, new people see yeah, yeah. okay so and i know uh, people those who are doing masters and i have done different session also in different countries for example usa germany canada all those countries so why uh, in healthcare management so there are people mostly doing bioengineering maybe something into de- medical devices so you are going for a uh, global healthcare management so is it because of the specific t- subject or you need to gain knowledge in the management skills or it's all about the opportunities you are having after completing this course okay basically i would say uh, two things basic one thing management skills i told earlier and next is i love uh, i love this modules about it i research a lot basically i came from computer science background so i i don't want to uh, go deeply into biomedicals uh, equipments and all those things uh, so my interest is to improve my other skills management skills my mba skills and all those things so i that my interest depend on the interest we have to select our subject yes. not about opportunity then only you will get knowledge so if you study this uh, you will get job not like that if you have knowledge and uh, so depend on that our skills and our knowledge what we love depends on that we have to select course and we have to take uh, subject so i research a lot for me uh, first i know like biomedical i am not interested taking biomedical engineering uh, so i went to other uh, subjects and actually other university also i check so i check modules so modules what i know uh, in this i can uh, improve my skills and i can uh, i will get good uh, job also for the healthcare management uh, after completion this i can work in a uh, hospital companies and lot of job opportunity too that is second one like a uh, lot of it i can work in mnc companies like ge philips and lot of companies in london Okay. um and yeah yeah that's in hospital to as a healthcare manager so more Uh-oh. opportunity than just uh, biomedical engineer yeah you have healthcare. different opportunities you are having different segment also. yeah 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 actually i researched for one year about it uh, mm-hmm. not just few months yeah actually i plan to go early but because of some issues i now i'm going okay so even i i have one more questions here so you are going to uk so i have seen many people opting us maybe germany because of the fee structure so why you are opting uk any specific reason or you are just going with the course that you got uh, one thing that uh, i love to uh, go in uk or english speaking country because that is more comfortable for me right. other than going um, germany or any other country um and uk it is climate wise more comfortable for me because uh, i i can't uh, survive in canada for a long time uh, so and uk universities are so nice lot of uh, good universities in uk and uh, even i love traveling so uk i can travel lot of europe is nearby so i can travel too so right. in my way for me uh, uk is more comfortable i studied everything uh, so that's all reason why i choose uk Okay, so what were the universities in your list in UK when you were checking? Yeah, I checked like a um, few universities good for healthcare management, uh, Coventry and ARU, Hertfordshire, and lot of other universities. In compared to that, Coventry is coming the first priority because Coventry having their own hospitals and uh, also the module it is uh, very good. Like I like this module very much. I gone through it and other. 
So you actually the grade wise also the common this uh, teaching efficiency is very high, gold and all. Nah, so everything. Yeah. Okay. So when we are doing the course, of course, there will be a course fee and the related expense also. So how about your uh, course fee and all? Ah, uh, course fee. So it is coming um sixty thousand six hundred pounds. So this okay. coming in the money sixty lakhs. Okay. And other expenses uh, nine lakhs. We have to show that. Mm. Actually, my course is only one year, and I am serving two years stay back. Okay, so you may have to expect total of twenty five lakhs expense for your entire course, right? For one year. After that, but uh, actually now I didn't pay that much money. I mm. paid only half much uh, fees. Mm. After that, uh, I want to do do part time job, and I can make money from YouTube mm. itself. Mm. Uh, so, so other expenses to... like oh yeah. So we need to show yes. the bank balance we are having for the during the application process. Yes, yes. Actually, I took education loan for that. Okay. Uh, so it is comfortable for. Okay, I just want to know one more thing here. Is there any scholarship possibilities, or are have you already applied for any scholarship in the university, or any other uh, possibilities are there? Actually, scholarship uh, differ between universities. Uh, for mm. my, I didn't get any scholarship because. It is based on the mark. Uh, for engineer, if you have good marks, you will mm. get a uh, scholarship. My university, but okay. other university, you will get a lot of other uh, scholarship. If you are coming from India, we will get uh, some amount of scholarship. But I didn't get. But uh, my friends told me after reaching UK, if, if I talked with the uh, mm. university team, I might get some scholarship. But I have to check that uh, okay. whether I will get or not because a lot of students are getting that. Yeah. Like thousand uh, pounds and all, they are getting. So I want to check in. Uh, oh, okay, hope you will also get the amount. And one more thing, mm -hmm. uh, we are going through this COVID situation. So I just want to know what is the visa process currently? Uh, this UK government having visa process is uh, very easy compared to Canada and all. Actually, everything done by my agency. They did in every proper way. We have to just uh, pay the fees. Uh, for fiscal insurance, we have to pay, and all process like uh, uploading our documents, everything online, and we have to take appointment. And I took in Kochi as priority visa, uh, so I went there, and they just uh, take uh, verification. There is no any interview. They just take our verification, like our all mark list and experience certificates and cash letter from universities. So they checked everything, and it was very easy. Uh, no need to worry about it. And today, actually, I got uh, my visa too, so okay. I plan to travel next week. Great. And uh, I want to ask about the criteria. Also, you were talking about the marks or the grade, whatever. So, is there any specific cutoff for uh, getting into the university, or if we have a degree itself, we can apply for it? How it is? Yeah, actually, basic marks should be there, like fifty-five, sixty percent, depend on the university too. Like in some university, uh, high ranking university, they might have criteria, so we have to go through it, whether we are okay and all those things. And uh, for some university, like IELTS is mandatory. Uh, for me, IELTS is no mandatory because I am having experience and all. But I think for an exchange take, they must uh, criteria will be the for IELTS too, because lot of students are traveling to UK and all. So we have to go site or uh, university site, and we have to check all those things. Okay. Uh, so, have you submitted the letter of recommendation? I have seen many, uh, you know, students who are doing masters are uh, need to upload the letter of recommendation. Also, is there any specific criteria? Yeah, 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 yeah. From actually, I took from my college. Uh, mm -hmm. from two two lectures we have to take. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, actually, some you know they will ask from company also. Um, for for me in Coventry, there is no need. Uh. A letter of recommendation from company, okay. uh, but other you know, actually I applied in ARU too. So okay. ARU asked me a lot from uh, company too because we are working in that company. Uh, so okay. that depends and SOP also statement of purpose why we choose this university, what's your plan after. So SOP also statement of purpose, all those things uh, we have to create and we have to apply in university. After that only we will get uh, offer letter. Okay, so I know that you are attending your UK classes right now online, even before getting to the UK. So it it is all because of the COVID nineteen. We know that. 
so what are the uh, changes this covid has made in this higher education or all this visa process in your experience yeah i have uh, for me uh, online it is very good uh, because at uh, staying at home and at staying at one place we can talk to different people uh, actually uh, only few people are coming offline in universities but online classes some are fully online courses is there for us Uh, so we will get lot of uh, students and it is very interactive not like india india webinar we will get bored but there will be lot of interaction to um, they will create some uh, actually uh, for example a state attended my class in that uh, from one group we will go to another group like in classroom like online we are going group and interacting one section after completing that again we will come to main group and lot of things and uh, we we won't get too much bore it is very interactive too and the uh, lectures they are very friendly and all we can ask any doubt uh, they will clear it out and it is uh, you know uh, very good and uh, this covid actually make people more patient and uh, to understand ourselves and they are more health conscious and it is make a lot of good impact too even uh, next week i can travel so there is no problem for it and traveling we have some restriction but now in uk they are removed all restriction actually india yeah. it is restriction more increasing and but there uh, actually if after few weeks their mask is no needed there and sort of uh, so yeah. everyone is uh, living with covid uh, right. we can't stay at home by saying covid and all we have to come to the field and like we have to live with covid that's yeah, the only right. thing and one more thing is there any delay in all this your application process or visa process during this because of this covid issue yeah because everything is online and uh, uh, nowadays all lectures are learning online things because a uh, lot of applications and the communication morely online right uh, and uh, so some delays are happening because of that but okay. i think in coming future uh, days months they will be fine with that because we will learn things and we they will, there won't be any delay in our coming yeah. days i hope it will be like that yeah hopefully and i'm sure there will be many biomedical graduates and students will be watching this video so do you have any specific suggestion from all your experience yeah i will say learn every day improve your knowledge and improve your skills uh, learn Uh, in personal life and professional life we have to learn every day then only we will be more confident and uh, happy so follow our uh, dream like uh, follow our passion so biomedical i am so happy uh, to work in a biomedical field healthcare field because that really make me happy and to um, enjoy my life and uh, improve myself here yeah. yeah so i um, will say so this to continue this uh, don't go in other company it job or anything just to, to make a money uh, i will say try to work in biomedical only yeah yeah thank you so much for sharing your valuable knowledge with us have a great day yeah thank you yeah thank you